Well, hello there, my beautiful kings and queens. How y'all doing out there? Bless! You better know, you better believe it, and you sure enough better live it. I'm going to hop on here real quick before I go into the place. And even though time has changed, I'm still out here. What in the dark? Well, that's okay. Um, I only have a few minutes before I go on here. I just want to jump on here real quick and hopefully be able to encourage someone. And trust me, when I encourage y'all, I encourage myself too. I want y'all to know that no matter what happened, um, there are things that we desire to happen and th that we hope to happen. And then there are things that we inwardly know is going to happen and things may not turn out the way we want them to or maybe not right away but the purpose of this message is to to remind you number one continue to trust god Continue to trust him. Trust him with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And to remember that he said he will work all things together for good because we love him and we're called according to his purpose. And man can say what he want to say. He can plan what he want to plan. But God always has the final say. And whatever is meant for evil, surely God will work it to for your good. So... Things may look dark, okay, but the light is still there, and it eventually becomes brighter in our lives. So keep your faith. Don't let any disappointment or anything steal your joy, steal your faith in God, steal your peace, because you need your strength. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. And the enemy knows that. So he would try to magnify things or try to bring things into your life or try to play things over in your head or give provide scenarios to cause you to become um, scared. But God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a sound mind um, to cause us to be to concentrate so much on the what ifs and could have, should have, could have, would have, and you know, that we forget who God is, who we are in God, and how faithful God is. Um, things may not look the way you want them to look right now, it may not work out the way you want it to work out right now, but we know that. God's decisions are always best. And we know that he's an on-time God. We know that he is good all the time. You know, so all those things that you have confessed during the good times, you have to also remember and to continue to confess them in what seems to be the bad time. Wait on God because he always come through. Always, always come through. And what they say in the midnight hour, the last minute, and even after us, even after a thing looks dead, even God could come along and resurrect. Okay, so keep your faith, keep your joy, keep your peace, trust God, and just know that in him we can do all things. And no matter what happens, he got us. You got this, and God got you. So be encouraged today. Wait on God. It's not over yet. He's not done yet. The angels are not in heaven striking, holding up picket signs. Talk about we quit. So don't you quit. The devil can't win if you don't quit. Amen. So be encouraged today, and know this. And God loves you best.